All right, welcome to the Robert Show. I'm here at the Data and Analytics Summit uh, in London with Mike Hume, uh, who's the VP of Marketing Data Stacks. Uh, pretty excited to chat with him about data, real-time AI, generative AI, and much more. Uh, Mike, welcome to the Robert Show. Thank you so much, it's great to be here. Great to be here in London, by the way. This is an incredible conference, right. tons of energy. Obviously, the yeah. hot topic right now is AI, and happy to be here talking to all of your fans and your viewers about this topic. Awesome, uh, why not start with a little introduction, and uh, can you tell us a little about yourself? From our sure, audience here? yeah, absolutely. So, uh, I've been in tech for about 25 years now, wow. so uh, seen a lot of things come and go, a lot of the big trends, a lot of the great uh, things that uh, I've been able to part of, really proud of what uh, we've seen across our industry. I've been at Datastax for about nine months now, wow. and really joined because we were at a point of reinvention, and actually coming together, the new topic for us is, uh, not coincidentally, AI. Uh, yeah. Prior to this, I spent about 12 years at VMware, and I was also part of the team that launched Google Cloud back in the day when oh, wow. Google was just getting into the enterprise business, and so just some of the exciting things I've been able to see from the front lines. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I think uh, these are great uh, experiences, and you know, obviously it kind of puts you in a place where you can share a lot about AI, at least now, with That's your right. experience uh, in the past, uh, and you know, obviously kind of excited to learn a little about real-time AI. I know there has been a lot of talking and we've been hearing a lot about AI after the chat GPT happening, but can you tell us more about it and how's, you know, what's the data stacks angle to that? Sure, sure. So, you know, one of the things that I've seen across all of these experiences I've had, whether it was VMware or Google or even yeah. now, is this major shift in applications. And you know we've seen this in our careers, we've been around long enough to sort of recognize them, and we really believe that in the future, every application will be powered by AI, mm. and it will actually be driven by real-time data. We're at this point now where our expectations are high enough that we need that kind of real-time interaction. Right. Uh, real-time data is actually growing at 10x, and it's forecasted to be 30% of all enterprise data will be real-time oh. within just a number of years. So we see all of these things coming together right now, yeah. and it's really exciting to be at the ground floor of all of these things that are happening. So from DataStax's standpoint, we're really pushing a platform purpose-built for real-time AI. And we think this is a unique angle on the yep. overall AI story. We love the enthusiasm on AI, yeah. but we actually think real-time AI gives every business the opportunity to embed machine learning into their data, right. have access to the most relevant data, which is up to date in the moment, exactly. the moment that a customer might be interacting with a business service, True. or at the moment that your operations are experiencing an anomaly or an event, and then yeah. having the intelligence built into that data and that application to not just understand it or predict an outcome, but actually to change an outcome and yeah. make an impact based on that moment. And that's what real-time AI is all about. And it's very important because uh, down the line, you know, obviously it's more about how quick you could be yes. and how fast, you know, AI could make that difference for a customer or there. Yeah. Do you have any use case that you would like to share with us? Sure, so what we actually see is some of the best use cases for AI yeah. actually evolve in a real-time way. Mm -hmm. So you look at something like fraud uh, detection or understanding fraud detection, that's yeah. a traditional AI use case. But we actually think we can move to fraud prevention or something like historical maintenance, really understanding or predicting when a piece of your operations needs to be retired or repaired or taken out of commission uh, for uh, an update or upgrade. Right. But we actually can then act on it in the moment and actually help to prevent that catastrophic failure of your operations. Exactly. You might look at something like uh, understanding changing pricing, but we can actually adapt to dynamic pricing for fuel or airfare or other costs of goods. And of course, the big one is around uh, customer engagement. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we understand AI is really fantastic at understanding things like the potential for churn down the road. Yeah. But we actually think we can reduce churn by understanding customer behavior at an individual level yeah. in the moment of engagement, yeah. and then actually driving a new recommendation, a new product, a new service that can actually keep that customer engaged. Yeah. So those are some of the really interesting ones, and how real-time AI actually just builds on those things that we already are embracing around AI in general. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. No, no, these are great uh, insights for sure, great examples that you've shared. Uh, thank you for that, Mike. Uh, another quick question that I have is yeah. since we are in, uh, you know, in the world where, and we were talking this off air as well, yeah. you yeah. know, where uh, now data plus AI kind of plays a very important role. Every yeah. tool out there, every vendor out there, 
you know, are trying to implement AI somehow. That's right. So what are your thoughts about that? Yeah. Well, data and AI are really inseparable, right? Yeah. We've been on this incredible, you know, growth trajectory for data for many years. We right. know all these predictions and all that. But AI is really the ingredient that extracts all of the right insights from all of your data and turns this incredible investment in data into an asset and into value. And so, you know, just as I was saying earlier, we're also seeing this evolution of data into a real-time type of data. And so, we see this coming together, and what you need is really a new approach to how you're extracting value from your data. You know, the traditional batch models are very valuable, right? We, we, they're great for long-running processes and financial planning, all the things where we have time to really make a smart decision. Yeah. But more and more what we see is there's these whole sets of other applications and services that re require real-time intelligence applied to the data in the moment that you can make that impact. Yeah. And so data and, and AI, they're really two sides of the same coin. Real-time uh, data and real-time AI, for me, I think that's the future. Yeah, no, I think uh, fantastic points there, uh, Mike. Uh, that also brings me to another, uh, yeah. since we are talking about the approach and obviously the evolution, how do you see the future of real-time AI and where do you see it going, even the generative AI? Yeah. Other yeah. stuff, how do, you, how do you see that? Yeah, so the first thing is that real-time AI, AI is actually already here. Yeah. So if you've taken an Uber, if you've you know, watched Netflix and had a recommendation at the end of that, if you've, you know, uh, if you've engaged with any number of other services, you know, you've probably had a real-time AI experience. And in fact, we're building our model of architecture on the ways that these pioneers have done it themselves. Now the difference is it's taken them 10 years to do this and you know hundreds of millions of dollars of investment and not every business has that kind of time or capital exactly. investment. So from our standpoint, Datastax wants to make it incredibly simple for all of us to have that same you know, level of sophistication right. um, and bringing together historical context and real-time data all at once. And I think the interesting thing, you know, the generative AI, uh, you know, rush has really kicked off. And it's a great catalyst for excitement. Yeah. We see all the energy here, exactly. but we also have to think about architecturally how are we supporting whether it's predictive AI or generative AI, right. and all of that. We need to look at it from an application standpoint. What are we doing? How are we aligning our data and our machine learning capabilities so that we're able to act on all these things with speed, we're able to do it at a cost level that's approachable, and we're able to do it without all the complexity that maybe the, the pioneers in this world experience, but we don't want people to have to go through years of investment to make that a reality. Yeah, no, I think uh, definitely great points, and I'm pretty sure the audience listening to us might yeah. also have a lot yeah. of questions. Uh, that might come over to you. Yeah. So just for that, uh, if folks want to reach out to you and Absolutely. learn more about, you know, obviously the real time AI, how data stacks is kind of, you know, obviously moving, you know, uh, in terms of the direction that we see yep. in AI, yep. where can they reach out to you, Mike? Absolutely. So first, I'd love for people to come to datastacks.com. Yep. You can actually start using our cloud service for free. So you can get in there and start to understand how easy it is to set up your real-time data, start to access streaming data, all of that. That's number one. Um, but also, reach out to me on LinkedIn. You can find me, Mike Hume. Uh, the last name is H-U-L-M-E from Datastax. Um, send me your ideas, you know, talk to me about what you're doing. Yeah. Sometimes companies will have a real-time AI uh, application that they're working on, but they haven't really thought about it in those terms. Exactly. So what is it that real-time you know, speed and, and access to information could really change for your business? Yeah. What's that service that you're building to be more competitive? And how are you thinking about AI today, but you could maybe evolve that and think about it in more of a real-time fashion? Very so true. all of that, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear your feedback on it. And uh, I get you know, really excited hearing what people are doing and what they're trying for to do sure. more than anything else. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much, Mike, for doing Absolutely. this. Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll definitely have a longer session in, uh, as uh, we plan, obviously, to meet again Perfect. very soon. Yep. Uh, but thank you very much, uh, everyone, for joining us today.